Hi, I'm Shad, and I'm going to show you a tool in this video that may change the way that you program for the rest of your life. So we're looking at ChatGPT, which is, of course, a kind of an explosive idea that is taking over all parts of the Internet. So maybe this is the biggest thing since Google. So let's do a demonstration of how this could affect you as a programmer. I'm going to make a request to this intelligent robot, or this chat robot, to write me a program. I'm going to say, make me a high-low game using Java. Now, that's not a lot of details of how I want my game to work, other than the fact it's called a high-low game. But as you can see, it is generating a whole lot of code that is syntax correct and appears to be logically correct as well. You can see that this program is making a lot of assumptions, like I want to go from 0 to 100 for my number of guess attempts. And then when I'm done, I have an answer that says, yes, you were correct or not in your guess. Now, the intelligent part here seems to be that it not only can get code from somewhere, maybe it's copying Stack Overflow examples or something, but it's obviously learning from the Internet. The, the important thing here is that the next step I want to do is improve on what I just asked it in the previous question. So let's add it a little bit more. Let's say... Let's uh, make sure that there is a, a limit to the number of guesses, or let's keep track of the number of guesses that we have made. And so based on the previous example, and then now asking for a, an, a change or an update, it modifies what it gave me in the first step. Then let's go for another step further than that. Let's say, let's make it so that there's a time limit or a number of guess limits. So let's pick a number, say eight and say, don't allow the user to guess more than eight times. And you can see that each time I generate a new program that is written in Java. So I could probably continue and say, hey, let's make this same program in JavaScript, and it would rewrite it in an accurate way, or we could pick a different language. So how is this going to change the way you program? Well, if you're a beginner programmer, like many that I work with at the university, you're going to get an assignment and just let the program write your work for you. And of course, you will not really learn how to code. However, a more experienced programmer might save a lot of time by first generating the program and then checking for accuracy to see, is this written correctly? Were there order of operations that maybe are incorrect? Are there runtime errors, possibly? Syntax errors are probably taken care of, but logically, does the program make sense? And you have to know that the robot or the AI agent has learned from copying other human examples on the Internet. So I imagine that a lot of documentation is included in the learning model here, as well as things like Stack Overflow. And I think that's probably the biggest criticism of a Stack Overflow programmer, you might say. Somebody that doesn't really understand the docs, but just copies code from other users and the, the answers that are given here from the AI agent are super confident. It says here that this is the answer. This is how it's going to work. And it might not be exactly correct. You may code into their logical errors that you're going to regret later. So this is an awesome tool for programmers to generate some starting code. But I certainly wouldn't depend on the answer being your final work. It's like giving your outsourced work to a junior developer and then as the senior developer you might want to double check to make sure the thought process works well but it is amazing isn't it to see how this program works it's as amazing as the first time i saw google or facebook or youtube uh, you knew that things were going to be different from here on in and so i think we're going to be looking back at uh, year 2022 as the year of intelligent coding and the initial stage of a new way of programmers to work. So not only with this tool, but also with GitHub and their co-pilot and other uh, online AI agents that are able to give you pretty good writing, even writing computer code without any kind of a resource or footnote to tell you where they got their information from. So tell me, how has this changed in your work? Have you used this as a student or as a professional? And what do you think will be the consequences for the job market coming up?
If you'd like to see how I think that this will be used in the next iteration, check the next video here because it seems a little bit like uh, there's room for improvement and I think there's going to be some major changes in how we use the internet based on tools like this one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe and learn how to become a software developer, join me. I teach software at uh, Grand Canyon University and a lot of my students are now professional developers. So join me in class and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.